Welcome back to the morning show here on the Rise News. Joining us now is our entertainment analyst, Nena Hugo, with stories trending around the world. Hi, Nena. Hey, Nena. Good morning. Good How are you guys? Good morning. How are you? I'm well. Fantastic. Yes. One day to Friday, yes. one day to the weekend. We made it. Almost. We almost made it, right? Almost there. Almost there. Okay, what's trending? Well, Jamie Foxx is being accused of slapping a woman with his sexual organ nearly 16 years ago. And although she's now gone to police, Fox says it's an absurd lie and he's going after her legally. The alleged assault happened in Las Vegas back in 2002. According to law enforcement, the accuser told cops last week she had a friend, her and a friend were attending a party at Jamie's place when he tried to get her to perform oral sex. She claims when she refused, Jamie struck her in the face with his man part. The accuser said that after the alleged assault, one of Jamie's friends told her she had to get out of the house. She claims that she went to the hospital the next day when she got back home to LA to get treatment for a severe panic attack. However, Jamie emphatically denies that this incident ever occurred and he will be filing a report with Las Vegas Police Department against the woman for filing a false police report against him. There are so many flaws. I mean, I, six, okay, let's forget the 16 yeah. years ago. But the, 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 she went to hospital for having that organ. A severe a panic attack. In her face. She okay. had a panic attack. Okay, from that happening. What could be, well, how did she fair? get? To, sorry, how did she get to the position of that could actually be slapped in her face? Well, I mean, you know, you're in, maybe she was in Vegas having a good time. No, I don't know. know. How did she get to that position? Because she's not Questions saying she got answers. head butted here. How, no, but I'm saying but because th there's so many flaws in this story. So I don't really understand. There's, it, sounds like, it sounds like there's more to it. It sounds like she's probably heard what has been happening with Trey Songs and the rest of them and thinks that she could probably just cook up a story. And but 16 years ago, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I mean, I wonder if she went to the, okay, if she went to the hospital immediately after for a mm -hmm. severe panic attack, they should be able to pull yeah. up records yes. that show that she was in the hospital. So I hope they're doing that because 16 years ago is quite a bit of time. Yeah. And I'm not saying... I think it's a funny story, though. Like, it's actually really funny. And again, we, we don't know, okay? So this is what happens with people. I don't know that we should actually be laughing because she had a panic attack, which is so she sort claims. of like, well, she claims. But um, so he's now counter-filing a police report against her. And I mean, but isn't there like a, a statutory like term limit for, for court cases or for things? Because 16 years ago is a long time. Or no. anything to come Does out of it. Does she have any witnesses, any evidence? Well, her friend, her friend that was there. Okay, so her okay. friend. I hope they're still friends. Maybe. Yeah, so hopefully she can yeah. you know, tell her to follow her to court. I mean, I, I, I hope, well, I mean, again, you have to pull those receipts, go to the yeah. hospital, yeah. show it. Because, I mean, again, this is a serious matter if, you know, this thing did take place. Yeah, if she comes place. up with evidence, fair enough, fine. But I'm just still really curious to find out how she got in the position to actually have that part of someone's Do you want it spelled out, Stephanie? <laughs> no, so what I'm saying is, did she did she agree to it and then backtrack? Maybe that's right. what happened. But oh, were they already making out? Because you, you do realise you have to actually be... Well, Somewhat lowered to actually well, have that hey. slapped in your face. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> well, Stanley gets restraining order against business partner, his business partner. Stanley has gone to court to ask for his protection against his presumably soon-to-be ex-business partner and friend, Kia Morgan. Lee was granted a restraining order in Los Angeles on the heels of Morgan's arrest on suspicion of filing a false police report. It was reported Morgan may have lied when he called cops the co he called the cops after two suspected gunmen allegedly showed up at Stan's Hollywood Hills home the night of May 31st, demanding money. A judge has granted the order, which says Morgan must stay 100 yards away, and hearing his, his hearing is scheduled for July 6th. <sighs> so is this a follow-up of the story yes. of his business being sold behind his back? No, 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 this isn't, this isn't, yes, exactly. In regards to his ex, his manager, I guess, soon to be ex-manager, mm. um, delving into, I guess, you know, illegal practices. But what, I, what, I, what, I've, what I've seen so far is that Stanley's health and his condition has kind of been deteriorating. So I don't really know exactly how 
how um, true um, the allegations he's been putting against his manager are because they, he, people have come forward and said that, like, you know, he is 95 and he's like, you know, his memory is kind of bad. So. Well, how true is that? You know, because someone is mm -hmm. 95 doesn't mean their memory is bad. And no. I feel like mm -hmm. that's what everybody is going to, or that's one major way to get people to be against him. Because mm -hmm. when we're talking about his business being sold behind his back or some shares being sold off, it was mm -hmm. like they had brought the documents to him when he was in the hospital and he had just signed off while he was in the hospital bed, right. on the sick bed. And then he came out of that and was like, well, he, you know, like he was coerced or something. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, but again, I don't know that every 95 year old is senile, like he's not thinking straight. He, mm -hmm. he seems like a smart guy, like an intelligent guy. Well, I mean, when you're creating things like Black Panther, you know, um, yes. Avengers. But my thing is, you know, at the same time, he is getting older. And if people are coming forward and saying that they're concerned with his health, then, you know, maybe we should right. take yeah. that into consideration. Why his children? He has a daughter. She's about, like, 60-something. She's, she's, been, she's been someone to come forward to saying that his, you know, his health is kind of a concern. But, oh, wow. you know, we'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, what else well, is trending? Jay-Z is getting sued by a music biz veteran after agreeing to pay him royalties but about 10 years ago, the check stopped coming and the guy wants his money. Raynard Herbert claims he used his connections to help land Jay-Z's Rock a Fella, a distribution deal in 1995, which led to an agreement where he'd get 1% of sales on the famed Reasonable Doubt album, which he also claims to have helped master. According to the docs, everything was going fine with the arrangements until November 2008, the last time Herbert claims he has got paid. He's suing to get what he believes he's owed, plus damages, interest, and extra fees. I mean, mm. oh, wow. 10 years ago. And all these, all these things that are coming up, like, you know, yeah. years after. I mean, Reasonable Doubt, let's be honest, is a classic. It was one, his first album. Platinum, mm -hmm. of course. I mean, I would be, I would be chasing that, chasing up on that too. Especially if I put my time, you know, and, and you money into it. And you helped master the album, like you helped with yeah. making the album what it is now. Yeah, mm -hmm. he should definitely be getting those checks. I don't yeah, know. why are those checks stopped? I'm, 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 I'm curious to know, like, why they stopped. Yeah, like what was, what was going on in 2008 for it to, like, you know, have ceased. I yeah. guess we know we'll see we'll see how that story unfolds. Yeah. Mm. Um, along the way. Well, a quick catch up on top three trends you should check on social media that has everyone talking. Former governor of Plateau State, Joshua Dari, has been sentenced to 14 years in prison. Wizkid rumored to be performing at the opening ceremony of the World Cup alongside Nikki Jam, featuring Will Smith and Era Estrafi. And of course, hashtag World Cup Russia 2018 is trending as the biggest competition in football is set to take center stage. Please. Finally. Um, if this, <laughs> can I just say, if Wizkid is actually billed to perform, mm -hmm. I am just pleading with him. <laughs> we should. <laughs> Starboy, could you please just do us all the honor? We we know you're busy, but please yeah, yeah. show up to this yes. event. Um, we all look forward to seeing him at Coachella, but that didn't happen, unfortunately. Okay. So <laughs> if he is actually going to be um, performing at the World Cup 2018 in Russia, we actually want to see him on stage, not on What's Instagram, telling manager? us why he didn't make it. Yes, who is his manager? You know, I feel like somebody should be held accountable for for his absences. Uh, well, he he does always have a reason most of the yeah. time. He did yeah. say that the band didn't get their visas or something like I that. I hope. I was just thinking mm -hmm. that. I hope the visas are all sorted for this yeah. Russia excursion. Because I mean, I get like you said, Stephanie. I would be so excited to see him perform, and then you know, more importantly the amount of people that would be there to see the music and exactly. you know, yes. just and put Nigeria a on the map. Event, mm -hmm. you know, to go. Very, and now yeah, it's finally yeah. trending. Exactly. You know, we're talking about how much, um, it wasn't getting so much publicity. Right. Nobody was really talking about the World Cup and now it's happening, so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But um, let, just a reminder, Nigeria is playing their first game on yes. um, Saturday the 16th mm -hmm. of June. Yes. Who are they playing against? Is it Croatia or Iceland? Croatia. Croatia, Croatia. 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 Mm -hmm. Croatia. Yeah, we have Croatia to take on first. Oh, so Lord, help with us. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> We're wearing green. Yes, we are today. today. <laughs> and maybe tomorrow. Yeah. And maybe Saturday. <laughs> Who, uh, I'm going to be watching the game on Saturday from my home. Uh, that's the point. We'll be wearing it wherever we are. Yes, good. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. What's our photo of the day, Nana? Well, it is a throwback. Yes, it is Jamie Foxx on the set of Living Color as Wanda on the segment called The, Ga the Dating Game. I don't know if you guys are familiar wow. with the show, but this Living Living Color put so many people on the map from yeah. Jim Carrey to um, Jennifer Lopez. So 
Yeah. This is that is major our... throwback. <laughs> major, major As a throwback. He's, he's on trend with that blonde wig, though. Yep. Yes, he <laughs> is. The colour, anyway. <laughs> well, thank you, Nena. No problem. <laughs> it's time now for a short break on the morning show. When we return, we'll be discussing mental health issues. So don't go away.